Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's Ahmed video, we'll be doing another no backup plan build, but this time we'll be using two shotguns instead of one. It is pretty much similar to our last endgame version we did, except for a few changes to make it more viable for players who want to mix and match certain shotgun types. This is a fantastic build to play with if you enjoy fast pace and simple run and gun playstyles. Its viability is good enough to see it be used for most legendary content as well. Now, if you like builds with a whole lot of risk to them, then the following is right up your alley. To start, you're going to want to have Bastion, where casting your super grants overshields to your allies. Casting a barricade also grants you and allies overshields, while also regenerating lost shielding. And then you want Offensive Bulwark, where upon having the overshield, your grenades charge faster, you have increased melee range and damage, and melee from the blows extended duration of shielding. The subclass effects will focus on providing users a best of both worlds in terms of setup for damage and survival. With Bastion at play, we can utilize the damage reduction being provided and then make full use of our grenades to disperse groups easily. This will link into how no backup plans will work as we will need that damage boost and extra layer of defense to close the gap quickly. A fragments used are Echo Persistence where voyability is applied to you such as overshields have increased duration. Echo of Instability, where defeating targets with grenades grants volatile rounds. Echo of Cessation, where finisher final blows creates a burst of void damage that makes targets around you volatile. Defeating volatile targets also grant void breach. Lastly, Echo of Starvation, where picking up a ball of power grants devour. We want to focus on max survivability for this build to be fully utilized as compared to before, this build will need to be fast and aggressive. The following combo will make using any void weapon with a pulse appraisal on it very effective from start to finish, while also making our shotgun more hard to hitting. If you don't have RB, then that's no problem as the fast acting overshields will keep your abilities freely flowing with persistence extending its usage. By utilizing these effects to the fullest, we'll not only have increased ability regen and health regen at the same time, but survivability will vastly be increased to allow any shotgun loadout to be more viable. For the modern stat section, as we are using no backup plan, this section could be quite flexible for the entirety of the build, so you're not limited on just one or two things that need to be done. Resilience at tier 10 is ideal though for that 30% damage reduction and for faster class ability regen that will play a huge part in the build. Tier 7 is also a good spot to aim from as long as you make full use of the void breaches provided that will give you that 10% class ability regen. I also recommend you have the Fondo Endurance mod like shown if you want to invest into other stats, but also because you may be new to the game and you may not have the best arm pieces just of yet. If you're more of a veteran and you have a good idea of what you're doing, then making use of these seasonal void mods such as the Onto the Breach and Protect the Breach mods are a good try as well. Discipline is the same as we have ours at tier 7, but we'll be making use of the number of benefits from our subclass alone. The offensive bulwark aspect will be granted as a steady regen rate of grenade energy every time we have our overshields up, which when combined with the frontal focus mod for that plus 30 towards our gun stat, means that we can get a tier 10 stat with fast ability regen on top of it. You can further supplement this with a weapon that has RB on it that will make sure that the build is fully protected and constantly giving you buffs while on the go. If you don't have a weapon with RB, then that's completely fine, as the alternative would be to use distribution or bomber mod for each time you use your class ability, but this will depend on what your mod slots are like. After the main parts are complete, you should have room to add on the armor charges and additional mods now. So, charged up times 1 will extend how many armor charges we can hold onto by plus 1, while stacks and stacks will allow you to have 2 armor charges instead of 1. Combining this with one Void Weapon Surge mod and one Strand Surge mod will increase our weapon by 10%. Time dilation will help this further by providing an extra 5 seconds to all time based mods, and having Void Siphon, Firepower, and Powerful Friends will make getting charged with light a lot more easier in the long run. But most importantly, I would highly recommend you add on the Special Arrow Finder and Scavenger mods to help with your secondary weapon usage, as you will be running out of ammo quite a bit. Now, for the weapons, you have two choices in terms of picking your shotguns. Ideally, one should be void so this can proc one of the bonuses on the new backup plan, but this can be optional if you have something else in mind and if you just want to go with whatever shotgun you have in mind. To start, I have the Until It's Returned shotgun with Overflow and Vorpool. There are two versions to come you look out for, and this is one of them. 
the other version has cascades. The current one I've shown is going to be the main major, ultra and boss dealer weapons that will inflict significantly more damage once I have my overshield up and running. Although slightly slow to fire, the full auto does help with landing your shots perfectly onto the target without needing to slow down. However, if you want to see even more of a DPS boost for the following, then try and get a variant with cascade points. It's pretty damn powerful and really effective against a lot of bosses, and it's kind of like a mini version of the 4th Horseman, but legendary. After that, having this oblation with the stabilizing round and repulsive brace is both a great combo and effective setup when using with the following exotic. Firstly, both parks together will allow us to have infinite overshot in hand, which means that we can get a damage boost going and also enhance our grenade recovery speed via offensive bulwark. Secondly, the following weapon can be crafted once enough their borders are collected, so you can craft the ideal role and not need to ever worry about farming it every once a week. Great purple, a great choice to use when pairing with no backup plan. However, not everyone will want to do the raid, even if it is easy to do. This is why the Basso Ostinato is the second best choice to pick him, as it has similar roles as Nessa, but it's more of a rapid fire frame. This is much easier to get by just doing the new Mona activities, and is more forgiving to farm. Of course, the Comedian from Zavala is another great option, but only when it's made available. Now, I like to keep the section perfectly short, as you've watched my previous No Backup Plan build, then it's pretty much the same thing, with a slightly different playstyle. Our previous version was more for endgame encounters, and it was fully developed in mind to allow users to use the following in whatever difficulty content you had in mind, such as Grandmaster, Master Raids to Raids, Legendary Story Missions, and Lost Sectors. With the following build now though, things have rapidly changed as we are using two shotguns instead of the standard one. This means that firstly, you cannot, under any circumstances, use this in endgame content as it will leave you too vulnerable to far distant enemies that have great range to hit you from. Secondly, it also means you have an easier time to trigger no backup plans to target trait and not only get the over shield but also that spicy 35% damage boost as well. Applying what we did last time with the following will allow us to fully lean into the run and gun shotgun loadout that most people tend to avoid because of the high risk playstyle involved. And that's kind of it for the build in terms of how to use it, as it's pretty straightforward and the shotgun choices are pretty self-explanatory. It's a good setup to try now compared to before its buff, as it had little leeway of using it in practically any content. The recent buff now gives players a reason to run whatever shotgun they have in mind, while slaying enemies quite well. However, you must be aware of the ammo shortage you will come across when using such a build, as double specials are both strong in slot, but also limited in rounds. Outside of ammo issues and range, I found that this build is pretty enjoyable to use when you just want to mess around with friends and not take the game too serious. But what do you think? So there we have it, I hope you all enjoyed the build breakdown. If you have any thoughts and content shared then please leave a comment below, while at the same time if you enjoy the content and want more of these videos in the future then leave a like and sub while here. I will leave a dim link for the build below, and if you want more stuff like this then I have players available covering all types of builds you desire. It was great sharing today's video with you all, and I hope to see you again soon.